Hey, what's up guys? I figured I'd pop on here and just do a quick channel update. It's been a long time since I posted anything. I haven't really had much to talk about. If you looked at my last couple of videos, you saw that I was slowly reproducing uh, parts of the draws. Well, the reason I was doing that was someone contacted me looking for a solenoid cover and a trigger and I told them well you can get the original parts from Sergey if you want and then I thought or you know I could print them for you here and you wouldn't have to deal with all that so I figured well even if he doesn't get them from me I you know why not I want to see if I'm good enough to do it and apparently I was but that guy jerked me around, jerked me around, jerked me around. So, it was like, whatever. And I meant to tell you guys about the solenoid covers because they're customizable. And if anybody's interested in one of those, I'll definitely hook you up. We'll take a look at them in just a minute. And speaking of being jerked around, there was another guy who contacted me a long time ago about doing a build for him and he was all ready to go and then he just ghosted me and then recently I heard from him again and he's like oh sorry man some things came up and you know I just couldn't I had to put funds elsewhere but I'm ready to do it now so I was like okay let's do this and then poof just disappears again i think i didn't hear from him for like two weeks or something like that and then all of a sudden he shows up again so that went on for a while and i just stopped answering his messages the deal with that was i've got one circuit board left and i don't know when i'm gonna uh, get more in so as of the making of this video I can do one more build. Now let's go take a look at those uh, solenoid covers. All right, these are some early ones, and this one has some speed vents in it. And I was able to clean those vents up a little bit better. Just by changing the uh, print orientation. This one is pre post process, so it still needs to be cleaned up. Just the supports taken off and the fuzzies gotten rid of, but this is what one would look like um, if you were to get one of these. And I can also put lettering or whatever you want on the side so this is my super b and i've got that written on the side as you can see so if you want one of those customized i've also got them in plain with uh no lettering no nothing and i can do whatever color you like and various textures so there is the last board uh let's see what else yeah, I tell you, it has been... Uh, well, I put together this clip to explain how it has been the last few years. I got you a dollar. <gasps> oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. So, yeah, I, I mean, some of you guys can't imagine the struggle who've been following the channel trying to deal with Russians and trying to find uh, a machinist who will work with you. The problem is with machinists is that most of them are just too busy turning out widgets for somebody else. And I can understand that. You know, you get a customer who just wants one thing made, uh, made and then you get all set up for it and just start running the crap out of it. I mean, great. That's great for you. Um, 
I was able to find someone that fell through. I'll explain what happened there. A friend of mine in the firearms industry messaged me. He's like, hey man, I hadn't heard from you forever. And it was because I got a new phone and changed my number. So I was like, I was like, yeah, well that, you know, kind of explains that. So he was wondering where I was. And I told him that what I was doing was I was, my plan was to reproduce a Drost Hopper and reproduce it, um, a super bird version of it. So it's already hopped up. And I was going to sell those with Sergey's board or uh, modify people's draws for them. But in this case, all they would need to do would be install the board and they'd have the hopper ready to go. So anyway, this buddy of mine down in Florida said, oh, well, I can help you out with that machinist. I've got this guy and you know, he'll, he's done plenty of stuff off the back of napkins for me uh, you should uh, email and give him a call or whatever I said yeah sure I'll definitely do that and I did and all I needed was the air tube made you know just a a lathe part the hardest uh, process in it would be gun drilling uh, about a six inch piece of bar stock so he said yeah I could do that definitely I'll make you a prototype out of aluminum and we'll go from there well about a week goes by and I hear from him I wasn't expecting to hear from him that soon he said man I'm sorry I had forgotten about you I just got sick and then I got slammed and I said no problem I really wasn't even expecting to hear from you this soon but thanks for the update, and I hope you feel better. So then, I figured that he was going to jump on it after that. So a week goes by, another week goes by, third week goes by. I'm like, what's going on with this guy? So I email him, and I don't get a response. Wait another week, email him again, no response. And I'd sent him my personal air tube out of my hopper I'd already given him a drawing but there was some question about one of the uh, o-ring seats but anyway I sent it to him and I was getting a little worried about it because he wasn't responding to me so I texted the guy who gave me his contact info and I was like what's up with your boy man he's like I don't know let me find out and I didn't hear from him for a few days. I messaged him. I'm like, did you find out anything? He's like, yeah, he's been sick for like, told me he'd been sick three weeks. So I let a couple more weeks go by. I emailed him again, didn't hear from him. And uh, finally, I was just like, hey, um, I'm just kind of worried about my part because you know, that was out of my personal draws. And I just, at this point, I just want to know if I'm ever going to get it back. And a couple of days went by, and he explained to me that he'd been very sick with liver problems and apologized and got my return address to send me the part back. That was last week sometime. So, fingers crossed that I get my air tube back. So finding a machinist that will work with me has been uh, too difficult as of late. So that is where things stand. Um, let's see what else I got here. I started a new channel, a new YouTube channel in case anybody's interested. It's called Shady Tree Hydroponics. I'm getting into hydroponics and I'm going to be growing some brassicas in my garage over the winter. 
I've got them started. I think they got stunted somehow in the beginning. So we're not off to a good start, but a lot of that channel is going to be a lot more 3D printing and hydroponics. So I'll be posting more there than I will be here unless something turns around on this side of things. But yeah, that's just what's been going on. So I'll be seeing y'all later.